Being in over 180 countries as a company, you can imagine the type of media we have. We have over 100 networks deployed across the globe. So the amount of media that we're dealing with is absolutely enormous. You have um, 40 edit suites, Avid edit suites. You have about 50 editors. You have about, say, 35 producers at any time. It's a lot of people doing a lot of stuff, a lot of footage. About five years ago, we were starting to get very serious about going file-based as a company. As we were going through our research and looking at other potential solutions, Avid was the clear front runner. And it was really about the metadata management, the enterprise level support, and the stability. When the interplay came along, it was a huge, huge transformation of how we dealt with, with media. Previously, an editor wouldn't know if an asset was already online. So they might recapture the same media again and again that another editor was already using, or they would have to track down the tapes to get those um, assets into the system. And now with just a quick search through Interplay, we can see if the media already exists on ISIS, and if it does, at what resolution, who might be using it for what other projects. And we can use it simultaneously without having to re-ingest it, taking up additional storage space. We're all connected now. Whereas before, we were talking about working in these little silos, you know, we had 40 edit suites, but every, every suite was its own private Idaho with their own set of drives and, you know, their own set of producer and editor. But now it's a sort of cloud, if you will. We push it extremely hard. We have 33 HD suites running three shifts a day. They basically never turn off. Um, with Interplay, we have the ability to repurpose an asset for multiple projects, whether it's for uh, on-demand video or to make a version for DVD or an international version. All those editors are able to access the same media simultaneously. One of the things that I love to see is when an editor is working on segment one of a six-segment program, and they're looking at the producer's notes and they're making the adjustments, and then I go outside of the edit suite and the producer's at an Interplay Assist station, looking at the same media, but segments two through six and, and getting notes ready for that. The work continues to go, no one's stopping. Interplay makes everything the editors do much more collaborative. It's much easier to feel connected to what your other editors are doing with maybe the same footage or similar footage. When I'm basically taking other styles and then basically um, mixing them with mine, I'm creating this new hybrid you know, edit style. And that's powerful. The more you feel that you're providing to the larger process, the more you're contributing and the more you're collaborating, the more satisfying your job is. And by the way, the better the product looks at the end. It basically makes you up your game. I mean, if, if, if the facility that in which you work for is going to supply you with the state-of-the-art tools, then your stuff better be state-of-the-art. We've been in almost three years now, and our uptime percentage is 99.6%. You really can't find that with any other solution that we've found so far. Avid, I think, used to be perceived as a very stoic, sort of closed environment that really wanted to tell the users and vendors how to do it, and this is how it's done, versus let's work together to figure out the best way to do it together. That has really changed. I've noticed a significant change in the company, I'd say, in the last three years. We've seen great new features. We've seen an increase in support. We've seen an increase in integration with third-party vendors that are very important to us. So we feel very good about the investment we've made and that we're positioned to succeed for years to come.